But you wanted to say something, explain a little bit about uh, Nokia, Chris. Well, they, they brought out a smartphone and they're, they're coming back. Hopefully. So is it available in the in the UK? It is. It's available in the UK. And they got a few on Amazon. Other shopping sites are available. Though, did you hear out Google? They've been hit with a massive fine. Well, the Europeans are quite concerned, aren't they? Yeah. Google and the way they go on. Yeah. Because uh, other shopping sites exist in the States, but that's not really the answer. And, well, other shopping sites do exist, but Google think theirs is better. So they've been prioritising theirs. Well, the, from thing that, the thing which strikes me at the moment is the voice, the voice interface to computers. What? So... John, John's telling telling me that, like for accessibility, Apple's very good. Yeah, it's, it's I would fully agree with John there. So, you, is that a concern of yours? If you go to a Nokia or any other uh, phone that isn't Apple, it's probably got a Google system in it or something. It like that. means I can't be lazy. I'll have to read it with my magnifier. So you haven't tried out any voice in interface or... I haven't tried it because I generally don't need it, but it's great for people who do need it that Apple supply it for free because, well, it's not free. Um, it's standard. Because, it's built yeah, in. Yeah, it's built in, whereas you might have to pay a lot for the phone. But um, before you'd have to pay an amount for the phone and then you'd have to pay an amount for the talking software. But now it's all built into the iPhone. Other phones are available. Pardon me, don't have they talk, talk though. No, but they're, they're they're all heading that way. I think. Yeah. What I've what I've noticed. With time. Well, what I've noticed in the last last week or so, there's um, there's a th there's a thing called Bixby, which Samsung have developed. Yeah, that's like Siri on the iPhone. Well. Okay, but apparently it's not. It's, it, they're concentrating on the Korean language one. They haven't got all the English language bits no. working. No. Um. And also Adobe have got something called Sensei that uh, is for analytical. I don't think it's intended to help the, the customers directly. No. It's, it's providing all kinds of stats. I saw a, a sort of flow chart. People will ask for a tune, please play whatever it is. And um, only, only about 30% actually gets through to playing the, playing the tune. It's mostly didn't, didn't recognise it or it didn't work or whatever. But yeah. I, I, so that kind of breakdown is what they're providing. But I do notice it's mostly very large, uh, either American or Asian companies. So it's people like um, Amazon, Google, Apple, Sony, Samsung, who else? We met? Adobe. It's, 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 it's all very large scale stuff, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the European Union could issue a fine, presumably, at some point, for something, but maybe they could do an alternative open yeah. source or something. Yeah. Otherwise, um... I do think... I'm not 100% sure, but I do think Google do a voice assistant that you just pay for but it's one-off payment and then it will work on three different I don't know, I haven't done any research Well we'll try and, we'll try and find out and we'll I think we'll also try and, fi try and find out a lot more when we, when we get to bed Yeah. because there was a little bit about <sighs> voice 
that bit, but it was in the in the sort of special needs educational bit. Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't like a mainstream thing, which is where it seems where it seems to be heading. Yeah. Shall we play a bit of the voice and the bit voice of the beehives with perfect day? That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> 